From 2010 until 2013, a project for greater spotted eagle protection was carried out in the Biebrza Marshes region in northeastern Poland. The project took place as a result of cooperation between NGOs. The Polish Bird and Eagle Protection Committee along with the Briebsha National Park. The greater spotted eagle is the least known bird of prey in Europe and one of the most endangered. For the preparation and implementation of the protection measures, it was essential to collect data about the species. This required intensive fieldwork. Grzegorz Maciorowski and the crew of the Eagle Protection Committee were responsible for this task. Each year about 30 monitoring visits were organized to search for new spotted eagle nests and monitor existing ones. During summer visits, when the nestlings were mature enough, they were taken from the nests, measured and ringed. The nestlings and adult birds that were caught in the mist nets received GPS transmitters for telemetry. The transmitters enabled bird tracking in the Biebrza region, as well as during migration and wintering. Out of 20 birds that received transmitters, 19 sent tracking signals. Each year, four to six young spotted eagles and 20 young lesser spotted eagles were ringed, as well as four to six chicks from mixed pairs of both species. It was necessary to carry out a genetic investigation to define the hybridization scope of the greater spotted eagles and lesser spotted eagles in the Biebrza region. The genetic material was collected during the nest monitoring visits while mounting the GPS transmitters. After ringing and transmitter mounting, the birds were photographed for a database and then placed in their nests. Each year, two to three nest cameras were mounted. After a short time, the eagles fully accepted the cameras and did not pay any attention to them. Apart from field work, a very important task was the preparation of the Greater Spotted Eagle Management Plan, as well as the implementation of the practical conservation measures in the Biebrza Marshes region. The coordination of the whole project was the responsibility of the Polish Birds NGO. In the GSE Centre, project administration and the meetings of the project steering committee were organised. Since the centre had a well-equipped educational space, ecological workshops and meetings with local stakeholders were organised there. The PR activities promoting the project and the greater spotted eagle conservation were coordinated from there. A very important part of the project was ecological education. Workshops were organized in primary and secondary schools of Biebrza region communities. Altogether, 42 workshops were attended by 1,650 pupils. 
A training session in Karchevo Primary School was carried out by Piotr Tawawai from the educational center of the Biebrze National Park. The first tasks dealt with the biology of the species. The pupils were supposed to put together a spotted eagle. Well, the spotted eagle would probably never accept such a nest. Nevertheless, the children learned something new. Orlik bez upisklęcia. I to też jest Orlik, a zobaczcie co ma na grzbiecie. Zantenką, tak? To ten satelitarnie śledzony. No, mamy. Zgadujemy nazwę teraz. The pupils learned a lot, had fun, and the school was provided with new educational material. Hopefully the children will pass their knowledge on to their parents. And the idea of the protection of the spotted eagles will receive wider support. In August 2012, reed mowing was carried out on 46 spots of a few hectares size, specified by the Biebrze National Park authorities. Altogether, about 100 hectares of reed were mowed. Of course, a one-time mow could not resolve the problem of reeds encroaching upon the sedge-wet meadows, but it was a good starting point. In places with sedges instead of reeds, scything was carried out. Since it was very important not to leave mowed material on the spot, it was raked and put into small stacks. The stacks turned out to be the ideal perching places for the spotted eagles in late summer and autumn. During the deepest part of winter, when the wetlands were completely frozen, Further management techniques could be applied, with the goal of creating a mosaic of open land areas with clumps of trees and bushes. This type of landscape is ideal for the greater spotted eagles. The mosaic was achieved by cutting some bushes. It was done in two stages. First by the cutting of bigger stems with a chainsaw, 
and then with machinery. Shrub cutting was carried out over two winters, 2011 and 2012. It was done by seven teams working from September until March. Altogether, 473 hectares of shrubs were removed from small areas in the middle basin of the Biebja Valley. During wintertime, a team from the Eagle Protection Committee constructed eagle nesting platforms and put them on trees. Altogether, 30 nesting platforms were fastened onto chosen trees. In the following years, two of the platforms were used by the greater spotted eagles, one by the lesser spotted eagle, and two by mixed pairs of both species. Additionally, a black stork and eagle owl pairs took one platform each. A few platforms were used by buzzards. <laughs> During the project, a Fellis film team made a documentary about greater spotted eagles. The filming consisted mainly of waking up early and waiting long hours for good light and for a spotted eagle. It also involved kilometer-long walks and wading through Biebja's wet alder and birch forests. This is Tomek, one of the cameramen. Nature-based filmmaking is not only about spending a lot of time in the wilderness, it also concerns the use of super-modern gadgets. The aerial film takes were achieved with a camera fastened to a hexacopter. Okay. Jest droga, a jest nasz samochód i my stoimy. 
certainly this conservation project could not resolve all of the problems of the greater spotted eagle in Poland, but for sure, it has given him a better chance of survival.